What was that? I'm sorry. I thought someone who liked King Kong versus Godzilla said something. Okay, so the new Mortal Kombat movie just dropped on HBO Max and it's been getting a lot of hate. And I gotta say, I understand why some people aren't feeling it. They created this unnecessary character that sucked. The script was hilariously bad and Jack's baby prosthetics was a lot to digest. I'm sorry y'all, I just had to, yo. <laughs> yo, they can't be serious. No, look at, <laughs> for his butt oh my god but putting that aside i'm frankly confused on how heavy people have been critiquing this movie when just a couple of weeks ago these same people were giving glowing reviews about king kong versus godzilla that movie was so mid that i couldn't even draft up a review now if you guys haven't seen mortal kombat yet it's time for you to dip because i got some spoilers coming up mortal kombat honestly lived up to my expectations. The fight scenes, sublime, which is honestly all I wanted. Also, I didn't think the story was that bad. Sub-Zero was out here violating, which he should be. And I love, love, loved everything involving Sonya Blade. I thought it was incredible that she had to fight to get her mark. And I have to remind fans that just because something is new doesn't mean that it's bad. I thought that whole marked for the tournament made sense and I didn't mind that there wasn't a tournament. This is not a series, we only got two hours. Let's see these fights and let's go. Like, honestly, I need y'all to tell me what more do you guys want? It's like watching Fast and the Furious and getting upset because it's physically impossible for Vin Diesel to tumble a parking deck instead of just accepting that the streets really do fight back. Like honestly, who cares about plot holes in movies like this? All this movie needed was gratuitous violence and fire costume. And they gave us that. Well, except for Aquaman and Goro. Those VFX designers cannot fool me I know a model of Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk when I see it. But come on, y'all telling me that this movie didn't open up this universe for sequels? Just like your boy Zack Snyder? As whack as that main character is, you gotta admit, you would love to watch a story where he is killed and his daughter has to avenge his death in the next tournament. Or a movie where Sonya gets to win the tournament after getting played so much originally. All in all, I thought the movie was entertaining. Definitely not a masterpiece, but something I enjoyed. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it three out of five Frankie Flames. Oh, and five Frankie butts for y'all hating on that demon's edges. We gotta normalize black women not having slick hair because I didn't hear y'all say anything about Sonya when her hair was out of place. Also, not having edge control is literally what hell is. So y'all need to leave my girl alone. Do you agree? Let me know your thoughts in my comments below. And until next time, have a fantastic week, my friends. Bye.